Last night, Canada had to say goodbye to another queen on Canada's drag race after an epic episode. This had iconic runway looks, a lip sync battle for your life showdown, and one unforgettable girl band versus girl band rap battle. Me and my girls serve and you spectacles of the girls. Forgettable. Oh, you can't help but dance when you see that video. Okay, in the end, the judges sent Anastasia Nakwe home. She joins me this morning from Toronto. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm amazing. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I, I'm very jealous of your outfit this morning. You're looking great. I'm oh, glad to have you. This um, whole thing. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Let's talk about last night's episode. I, I mean, your whole journey on this show, the judges have called you the pageant queen, the Bahama mama. You have quite the resume. You have worn more than, won more than 15 pageants. So on paper, it's all there. Why do you think you got sent home last night? You know, I think that nothing happens outside of its time. And I just think it was my time to go. You know what? I had an amazing run. So, and like I said, as I was leaving um, the runway, we're all winners because... Who else can say they made it on the first season of Canada's Drag Race? Mm, just us 12. <laughs> oh, you did so good. It's such an amazing perspective to have uh, coming out of the show last night. The very first challenge in the show was co-anchoring a Canadian morning show. Here you are now on Canada's national morning show. What was that experience like reading the teleprompter and ad-libbing <laughs> with your co-hosts? Listen, I will describe that as life-changing. That was so much craziness. Um, listen, I applaud the people that do it for a living because it's not for me. Those um, foreign names would come up and I would be like, what? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun doing that. Listen, let me give you some insider info. We sometimes do the same thing when words come up on the proctor and you don't know what that, you go, wait a second, am I reading that correctly? So you did an amazing job. Thank you, thank you. Last week on the show, you had to act and do ballet. The week before that, you did a photo shoot. This week, it was a rap battle. What was that like doing so many different things through the experience, and what did you learn about yourself along the way? Um, you know what I learned about myself? The thing that I've been telling myself my entire life, anything you set your mind to, you can do. Um, they threw these challenges at us, and we didn't know what was coming next, but... Um, <laughs> But we, we jumped right in head first and we did what we had to do. Is that the advice you have for someone else who'd like to do this is just jump in with both feet? Exactly. Perfect advice. Um, because that's all you can do. Put your best foot forward. Live your best life. Do your thing. Oh my gosh, I love it. Your story is inspirational, not just on the show, but also the steps you took to get there. You came to Canada seeking asylum. You have said that being on Canada's Drag Race has allowed you to represent people with huge dreams, but no resources to make them a reality. So my question for you is, how has the drag community helped you in your own journey? You know what? The drag community has been the backbone that I've, I've needed. Um, I found drag out of the need to continue the perform my my career in the performing arts and um I think drag was the amazing choice to go with. Um, I'm so grateful to have the people in my life that I have, my drag sisters, even the ones that I recently met on the show. We've become, when I say unbreakable, yeah, you can't get it between us. That. Oh, we're just watching video from the time on the show. Like, it, it's just such an incredible experience, especially as an audience member, to follow you through this journey. I want to know, because I want to know the next step in the journey. What is next for you? You know what? I, because I work for an airline, I've already seen a lot of the world. But now I want to see the world through the eyes of a drag race girl. Um, I want to touch our fans. I want to meet our fans. I want to have conversations with our fans. And um, ultimately, listen, pageantry is what got me here. And ultimately, I will be returning to the pageant world because I'm a pageant queen. Oh, I love it. Congratulations to you. And thank you so much for coming thank on the show so this much. morning. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, Canada, you need to be a fan of the show if you're not already. You can catch Canada's Drag Race Thursdays at 9 p.m. and it's only on Crave. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.